Hello and welcome to the show. Today we are going to be modifying a Mercedes 190E in an attempt to make a road legal car go faster than a 1979 Datsun. That's in question was a very, very fast race car. So it is uh, proving to be a tough challenge. While the Impreza had very similar PI levels to the Datsun, it was not capable of carrying a quarter speed well enough. This Mercedes, well, they are well known as being good handling cars on Forza 7. Now, tyre-wise, of course, we're keeping these things road legal, which means they've got to stick with sport tyres. The 190 is also likely to be relatively light by the time we are finished with it. doesn't have the biggest tyres, considering what we're going to be doing with the car. Uh, however, yeah, 265 front, 285 rear are going to have to do on the vehicle. Uh, when it comes to kind of aero parts, we will we want all the aero we can get. So front splitter, we well, can't do anything more with the rear. The, <laughs> the default wing uh, gives as much downforce as we're going to uh, get. Conversions now. Engine swap. We are well. We are going to do an engine swap on the car. I'm not quite sure what engine we're going to go to just yet. So let's stick on everything else that we can for this vehicle. Um, I am hoping. Now, the, the, the weight, the, the minimum weight is 2,400 pounds. While I don't think this is going to quite get to that level of lightness, I'm hoping this is going to get closer. Yeah, 2,600. Closer than we have been before with cars so far. Uh, we are only up in B class with all of this. So, engine time. We can get 3.2 liter i6. We can get the turbo rally engine. Turbo rally engine is quite heavy. Uh, considering it's a 1.6 liter i4. Okay, sure, it does have a turbo bolted on it, but uh, it's surprisingly heavy. Uh, the 4.5 liter V8 is slightly lighter than the 6.2. I'm not actually sure which is the more powerful out of the pair here. I might try the four and a half litre. Now I know that the 6.2 will get a thousand horsepower just. Um, if my memory serves me correct, this um, 4.5 should be... Well, it might only be about 900, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Things have changed since... Uh, well, I say since, since Horizon 3. Some of these engines have changed. Although it does look likely that this is going to be a sub-1000 horsepower engine. Okay, so we're probably then going to go and want to get the 6.2 just for the sake of of uh, that like, little bit more power. It is a fraction heavier, but um, it is possible that by the time we've stuck in all of the other bits and pieces that uh, we will get it down to about, it's going to be around the 2,700 pound mark. Still overweight, still heavier than the Datsun, however, can't do, you can't do much, you can't really sort of strip the cars out. Uh, <laughs> Too uh, too far. There's like more that we can uh, can really do with this one. 756 horsepower out of the Mercedes so far. PI wise is massive. Now it is possible that sort of the gearbox, for example, is hindering the PI slightly. After a thousand and nine horsepower in this, but the yeah the PI in fact it's now <laughs> PI goes down when we stick on the intercooler because it's adding some weight. Likewise, when we stick on the race oil and cooling, it's going down as well, although weight can be saved elsewhere. I'm very surprised by the PI, considering this PI is lower currently than the Ford Fairlane. Uh, sure, okay. If there is not a big jump with the gearbox, well, there is a, an okay size jump with the gearbox. I'm surprised. I am surprised by that. I would have expected more from the 190E. Although, you know, P PI is, is one thing. How it's actually going to work on the car when we come to uh, <laughs> come to drive it is a whole, whole another story. Uh, speed? I reckon 6.5 speed out of that. It's probably because it buzzes the... Uh, actually, I don't think the speed stat changes with the tuning. Um, it will buzz the image at 175. That's okay, we're not going to be passing 175 on the circuit we're using. Hmm. Okay. Curious. Curious indeed 
from the 190. I think... I think this will go certainly faster than the the fair lane. It might actually give the Subaru a good run for its money. The Datsun might be pushing it, however... We shall uh, give it a try. So, it is a lovely, sunny trip to the Lime Rock alternate layout for our Mercedes. I'm going to have six laps to try and go as fast as possible here. A 55 second lap is the time to beat. About a 55.3, the time set down by the Datsun. I think it would be tough for the Mercedes. We're more likely to be looking at the... Well, if we can get into the 58s, uh, <laughs> that would be good. Low 58 would be needed, or high... Uh, low 50, 58, high 57 would be needed if we are going to uh, go faster than the Impreza, which is probably more likely where we're going to be looking for our 190E. Ooh, big oversteery moments. We've not really had, as strange as it is to say, we've not really had big oversteery cars so far. Even with the, the fair lane, for example, they were actually putting their power down relatively well out of these uh, out of these corners. It's more the uh, understeer and the braking that is uh, the things you have to learn with the cars. That's actually not too bad down into the first of these chicanes. I think we have to short shift our way a little bit through the gears. In fact, this has got very, very short gear ratio, as I said. Uh, 175 might be enough. Uh, that's concerning that we're into sixth on a, well, barely even a straight down here. Uh, we don't have to worry about breaking too much into this final corner as we howl towards the finish line. I think we have to extend the gear ratios on this. Yep, it actually buzzes the limiter. Uh, now, this is a rule I had in previous builds series. Um, one I wasn't expecting to have to worry about here. However, if a car gear ratios are so wonky that it's buzzing the limiter on a circuit like this of all places, I will extend them uh, so that we don't buzz the limiter. I'm, yeah, very, very surprised that uh, the 190E would be doing that. Ooh, nope, we are not having a fun time getting slowed into that, uh, that first corner and then big, big slide around it. This not got quite as good. I say it's not quite got good of brakes. It's massively fast down the uh, straight there, but... Uh, I was hoping for a little bit more from the uh, from the 198. I think it's a one minute two uh, first lap time, which isn't too terrible. But if we can get four seconds quicker, that'll be putting us uh, around about the time of the Impreza. It's still spinning its wheels as it comes up over the crest. That's something we're going to have to watch out for. Of course, something that we wouldn't have seen with the Subaru. Uh, that second chicane was all sorts of wonky. I've still not quite got the... Uh, Power delivery sorted around the final turn we go. Oh. <laughs> it's constantly moving around. The Mercedes is constantly doing something. Right, turn one. Early on the brakes. Early, early, early on the brakes. Even then, it's not really slowing down quite so well. Uh, that's better, though. That's much neater through the first quarter. Now, don't get carried away with the power. It's very, very easy to... Uh, <laughs> cars like these to just use that tiny bit too much throttle you'll spin the wheels get a big sideways moment lose all of the time it's still not really not really able to get to full throttle until we're up into fifth oh we're not stopping there uh, too late on the brakes i think we're going a little bit faster out of the previous corner combine the two and that's not going to help matters i mean the good news is despite a big screw up i think that was a pretty decent first sector judging by the uh, split time and so on although yeah, we're not really... The final sector wasn't great on that last last run, because earlier it was a one, one minute one. That's uh, not quite as quick as I would have expected to see from this car, especially considering, you know, we're going up against a, a fair lane. The fair lane was uh, <laughs> under one minute around here. This should be faster than the big wobbly Ford. Admittedly, the big wobbly Ford did have some large rear tyres, so that's... Uh, yeah, in the Ford's favour, but this should have a much better chassis. And as I said, these have been very, very fast circuit cars in previous Forzas. It might just be too much power for the Mercedes to deal with. Oh, slow, 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 slow. <laughs> 
try it. The better I get a run through, okay, it's kind of turn three, the better exit I get out of turn three, the more trouble I find myself in <laughs> in this car. As you just, the braking point moves so much. I don't think I've ever driven cars in which the braking point moves so much based on how good of a run you get out of previous corners. It is quite, uh, quite noticeable and quite staggering. You've really got to adapt to every lap almost. Uh, what you were doing. This is a better lap, but still can go way faster. We need to go way faster. It's only a 1 minute 1.3. That's not looking great for the 190E here. Oh, get turned through these opening corners. I am very, very surprised that we are this slow. I mean, beating the Tatsun, well, perhaps not with this car. However, <laughs> this far down? This far down on the other cars that have run as well is is surprising. Now, oh, it's a bit of a lock-up that time around, although we have got it slowed for the uh, <laughs> run up the hill. It's neater. It's definitely much neater. We're a second up. We could really do with finding two or three seconds around here into the chicane. Try and get a good exit. Try and get the power down where we can. Oh, we've only got to have one more try to uh, go faster. That's going to prove difficult, I thought. Much faster is going to prove difficult. It's, it feels quick. That's the weird thing about this car. Is a one minute, still not sub one minute in this, still not sub one minute lap time from the uh, one ninety e. It feels like a quick car. It actually, feels quite a nice car to drive. However, it isn't. It really, really is not fast around this uh, around this circuit, which. Uh, not the outcome that I expected. Not the outcome I expected whatsoever. Now, can we really slow you down? Get a nice line. Nice line up through the S's. We go. It's a little bit of wheel spin as we hit the curb. Now, again, early on the brakes here. Third gear seems to be working, getting the car out of these corners. It's uh, giving us enough of a... Uh, well, just about enough of a drive off of them while... Uh, still keeping the wheel spin under control that's a much better run through the final corner this might be it for the mercedes run towards the line we go it's half a second faster 59.6 for the 190e that is a, an okay lap time but i'll be honest i was expecting a fair bit more i really was expecting more from this car it's it feels like a good, it feels like a good car to drive. And that's kind of the the annoying thing about it. Okay, yeah, it's, it's difficult. It's always going to be in in the style of this series, but it felt like a pretty good car to drive. It certainly felt bloody fast when we came to the straights. But yeah, overall, it is not very quick at all. In fact, it is very close with the it gets beaten by the Fairlane. <laughs> Fairlane is a 59.5. This was a 59.6. It's a tenth of a second down on the Ford. That's really not the result at all I expected uh, from this car. It is just not fast enough. The brakes aren't great on it, and that is perhaps one of the most noticeable things with this. It is not amazing at getting at getting slowed down, but <laughs> going up against the Fairlane 1960s chassis on that, built for drag racing, and that with the many thousands of horsepower. In fact, that had the same engine as this. It was supercharged rather than turbocharged. It was slightly down on power, slightly heavier. Okay, had slightly bigger tyres, but uh, the Fairlane, with all of its wobbling, <laughs> goes quicker than the 190E. Well, that is a surprise. That is a surprise indeed for the Mercedes, but there we go. Well, next time out, I think we're going to have to get serious with uh, our, I say with our base car, we're going to have to get something to uh, try and challenge this, uh, this Datsun. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.